Hello all YouTubers. Um, just wanted to make this short video on my latest haul from the Chicago Botanical Gardens. I was at the, uh, oops, I was at the uh, orchid show, the annual spring orchid show just this past weekend. And uh, in conjunction with that, the, the uh, Illinois Orchid Society, they had their member show on sale and um, had several vendors there. Some really nice vendors. I thought that they had a, a wider variety, and uh, you know they had a, more vendors there that had unusual plants, um, more miniatures, not just the um, standard Hausermanns, orchid in, uh, gnats. Um, really, kind of what I consider a, a pretty not big box, but they um, provide orchids to a lot of people the country but anyway um, this is what I got so let me just dig in here um, of course uh, I could not pass on La Turia's um, I had really planned to I know there's a vendor there that um, I went to actually it's this vendor right here I'll just start with this one this one is um, the Jovium um, the history of this plant is um, it's really used as a base as one of the parents of uh, a lot of the Latoya hybrids, um, spotted leaves, um, long lasting, sort of nodding, ease of culture, or compact size. Um, uh, I man, I have, uh, much to my demise, have managed to kill so many of these atrial lacing plants. But when I see a species that is on my wish list, this is one that I will continue to get, even if I have killed it. You know, I just think one day I'll do something right that it likes or put it in a place that it likes and it'll take and the rest of is history. But I haven't reached that point yet, but this is Amethysta Gloss, uh, Atrovialacium, I'm sorry. Supposedly it has a slight scent to it. I have not detected it ever. Um, but yeah, there's that one. And then, well, I was going to, I thought that the name of the nursery was on here, but I guess it's not. Um... The next one that I got here next door is, I want to say it's uh, Aberans times Eximium, another Laturia cross, spotted flowers, white, a little pink in the throat, backs are uh, almost always green, same as the uh, the uh, Alexander Atrovialacium. Yeah, I was right the first time. Okay, get it together. All right, then I got this Dendrobium, although I am not quite sure whether or not it is a Latoria. I do not think so, um, although I'm not sure. This is Frosty Dawn. There's another kind of sport or variety of this type of Dendrobium that's going around. It's got more of a uh, I want to say it's more of a pink lip or a darker uh, reddish orange lip, but I find this one more pleasing. Anyway, this is Frosty Dawn. Then um, I got this Dendrobium, who I, I had never heard of this one. Uh, the vendor that I bought these Latorias from, or these Dendrobiums from, um, told me that well, maybe he could have just been giving me a line. You never know. But um, to make a long story short, he convinced me that this was a, a sought-after plant. That, that five minutes before I showed up, someone had come and bought all but this one and, and was sort of uh, exuberant about it. So, you know, just out of curiosity, I purchased it. But when I got home, I looked, at, I looked it up online, and uh, I don't think that... I don't think this is the right tag because the, the flower of Dendrobium prasinum, pres, 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 uh, this is a uh, sibling cross, I believe, yeah. But the picture that I have seen in the plant, in fact, it's a completely different growth, growth habit. Um, there are no leaves up the stem. Um, the flowers come from the top and they are bigger and fuller white. I don't remember seeing any green. But nonetheless, it is pretty, um, and I will have to, uh, if any of you have any ideas as to what this Dendrobium might be, because I do not believe it is Prasinum. 
let me know, put it down in the comments, help me out. Okay, then moving right along, you know I love my Angracoids. Uh, I picked up this one, which is Angracum somalensis times Mysticidium, and I figured that this was a very nice size. It's got plenty of uh, roots growing out of the pot and in the pot. And I like the fact that it's inside of two pots with no media. I may find a way to sort of hang this in a shady spot um, under some trees and trying to figure. Looks like something. Okay, I hope that's not. Okay. But yeah, the roots are green tip, so um, I think I'll just leave it in the pot and water it like that. Again, these get uh, pendant star-shaped flowers, often fragrant at night. I do believe both of these species that have been crossed are fragrant at night or sometimes during the day as well. But uh, nonetheless, I love it. Then I got Ascocentrum curvifolium, which is, uh, this is still probably is in the seed, the seedling stage, um, but it gets a uh, tiny clusters of uh, very erect spikes of orange vanda-like flowers that are small on the spike. I thought that was pretty nice and different. And I don't really have any ascocindas. Okay, then actually I saw these three paths and I, at that point, was sort of winding down on my shopping and I thought I have to pick. But I couldn't pick because I had to have them all three because you rarely find these three species orchids anywhere, much less uh, at the price that I got them for. Although these are our seedlings and although these are probably reputable to be slow growing uh, papapedlums. Anyway, the first one is a species, Path Philippines Super Twister times something. So, okay, and um, this is a multi-floral path, um, white and purple stripe, well not white, but cream color, too lighter white I guess, uh, a beige color, purple, maroon striping, um, similar to Rothschildian, in that same family class of orchids, um, the petals are long and twisty. One of my favorites, so I was happy to get that. And then next to it, I got Path Platophyllum Superclone Time Self, which is a form, uh, used to be Pathstonii. Um, I do believe the name was changed. It really resembles, um, I believe, Gigantophote or Colocopingii, um, in that the flowers are large. Don't open quite all the way, but they're known for making lots of flowers on the on the spike. Um, Philippines may get uh, between three and five. These uh, probably upwards of ten at sometimes at mature size. And then next to it, I was very fortunate to get, uh, albeit a seedling, I got Pastonii times self, new direction times the best. Uh, Pastonia is one of my absolute favorite, uh, probably my favorite uh, of all path, path pedilum or multiflorals, actually, at least. Um, it's, it's very white. Uh, I just can't describe it, but it's white, um, very similar to Rochilianum, as I said. And actually, like I described, these, these are very similar. Um, so I won't bother with that. You can look up the picture if you really need to look at it, but it's very beautiful. It is one of the, the parents of uh, um, Lady Elizabeth, which in fact is right here. So it resembles this a lot. And Sorry for the camera. I do believe that's the end of my haul. And once again, if you like this video, press like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and enjoy your orchids. Have a good day.